Hello, it's Dr. Triple 7 and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how simple it is to create your own torrent. Now, unfortunately, torrents are often viewed as something illegal, when in reality, they're actually not. Torrenting is just a way of downloading files. If you download something that's illegal, that's illegal. If you torrent something that's illegal, that torrent is illegal. Torrenting in general is not illegal. It's just a simple way of sharing files that has a lot of pros compared to normal just downloading from the server like connections. With that said though, creating your own torrent is actually easier than you think. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how we can do that. The first step is you're gonna need a torrenting program. So things like uTorrent, BitTorrent, all those kinds of programs that allow you to download torrents also allow you to create them. Now I'll be using Deluge. It's my personal favorite torrenting application. I've done a video on the past before why, um, but like I said, you can pretty much use any program. They're all very similar or identical to be honest when creating a torrent. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open up our torrenting application. And we'll also want some files that we're going to upload into the torrent. So for me here, I have this files folder uh, with a bunch of empty text documents, for example here. So now I'll go to Deluge and I'll open up Deluge. And with Deluge open or any of your BitTorrenting applications, just go over to File and hit Create Torrent. Now we're prompted and we can go ahead and create our torrent. So the first thing we're going to do is either select a file or a folder that will be the torrent. So what it's downloading. So since I decided to do a folder with multiple files, I'm just going to choose folder. I'm going to head over to my desktop and I'm going to choose the files. So now I have selected my files. Now I can go ahead and just fill out some information. So I can fill out the info. Head over to trackers. Now this is mandatory. You must add at least one tracker. Usually one is fine enough. I'll just copy and paste a couple of them into the description below. So all you have to do is click add and paste in a tracker from the description below. The rest of it you can leave default and then hit save. Now we can choose where we're going to save it to. So it'll by default pick the folder name so file.torrent is fine for this video and save. Oh, sorry, choose desktop first and save. So now we've created the torrent and that's pretty much it. So if you wanted your friends to download this torrent or whatever it may be, all you gotta do is send, basically send them this .torrent file. And because it's a torrent file, uh, it doesn't actually have these files in there. If you, if you check the size of it, you can see it's 713 bytes, which is extremely small, which is, is even smaller than the amount of text files I have there. So basically what it is, is basically giving your friends or whoever you download it, downloads it a link to your computer, sort of, and gives you those files. So as they download it, you will seed it to them. Now that you create your torrent file, we're all done. You can now upload it or send it to your friends and they'll be able to download that file as long as you are available to seed it until they've completely downloaded it. As torrents do need someone seeding in order for it to download. Anyways guys, that is it for my video. Hope you guys did enjoy this quick little video on how to create a torrent. If you did, leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave those below. Otherwise, Thanks for watching, happy torrenting, and I'll see you in my next video. This is the Hacker 0007, and I'm signing off.